Well, good evening and good to be with you again on Geelong Newsbeat. One of the items that's been taking a fair bit of attention in the last uh, couple of days has been the uh, battle for, well, I'm not sure if it's a battle for leadership, but certainly uh, what's been described as an undermining of the leadership of the state Liberal Party leader, Ted Bailey, with apparently uh, appears some uh, websites being used for people who are unhappy with the way he's doing things. One of the interesting things is that it's often said that uh, in these sort of situations that people are being disloyal and it creates a, a bit of an, an anomaly and a bit of a, a, a dilemma in many ways as to say, well, what, what happens when people are unhappy? When people are particularly unhappy, maybe with a um, might be a footy coach or it might be the president of a social club or might be the uh, CEO of a business. What do you do? Do you, uh, do you just walk out? Uh, do you complain quietly? Or is there a process in place to be able to bring about a, a change? Something that we all have to deal with at some stage or other. And when you come to think of it, dealing with complaints is one of the things which every organisation from a family upwards uh, or downwards, insofar as the family is probably the most important unit of all. But wherever we gather as individuals, we're always going to have disagreements. One of the key things that we've got to try and put into a, a structure in our life is how to deal with those complaints. And uh, maybe disloyalty isn't necessarily uh, the right word to use always. I just mentioned a couple of things tonight which might be, uh, well, this might be helpful even within the context of your own family uh, dealings or uh, how you get on with people at work or whatever. From uh, maybe our own personal perspective, one of the things which we probably really need to do is to make sure that people with whom we are unhappy, particularly if they are people in authority, that we take with their, our complaint to them before we take it officially to somebody else. And um, it's fairly basic that uh, no leader would like to know that uh, in any organisation would like to know that people are unhappy and hear it second hand. Of course, they would say quite rightly, I'm not quite sure if this applies in Ted Bailey's case or not, but well, if they've got a complaint, why don't they come to me and talk about it? And then maybe we can sort it out. And that's a, that's a fair thing to say. So certainly uh, from the perspective of someone who's unhappy with whatever's going on, there are lots of ways and means in which we can take our objection, our difficulties, our complaints uh, about the way things are being done. We should be able to take them directly to the person themselves so that they're not in for any surprises when they hear it along the traps that uh, uh, maybe that we're unhappy along the way. From the perspective of the, uh, if we're in a position of any sort of authority, though, we also need to try to develop a culture whereby people can have their uh, grievances put forward without feeling that anyone's going to get back on them, that there's going to be any sort of intimidation or, or payback or whatever. The reality is that as human beings we'll always have different perspectives on things and certainly those who are in authority, those who, uh, as I say, run a footy club, run a family, uh, we need to have something in place whereby people who are aggrieved in any shape or form, whether it's a grievance about a particular incident or particular policy or whether it's just that they're just not happy with us, that they have an opportunity to be able to put those things forward and, uh, and know that that's not going to come back and bite them. Somehow or other then we establish a wonderful thing called good communication and maybe we can sort some things out. I'm not sure what's going to happen within the, the Liberal Party and that will sort itself out like, uh, I guess, like uh, most things do. But often there's a hard way to do these things and a better way to do these things. Perhaps by keeping those two things in mind from the complainant's perspective to take the difficulty to the person concerned first before going to anyone else and from the organisation or leader's perspective to have a, a process whereby people who have grievances can be heard uh, without fear of recrimination 
Both of those things, I think, can help us all get along a little bit better together. Good to be with you on Geelong Newsbeat.